The Argument of His Book by Robert Herrick. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. I sing of brooks, of blossoms, birds, and bowers, of April, May, of June, and July flowers. I sing of maypoles, hawk carts, wassails, wakes, of bridegrooms, brides, and of their bridal cakes. I write of youth, of love, and have access by these to sing of cleanly wantonness i sing of dews of rains and piece by piece of balm of oil of spice and ambergris i sing of times transshifting and i write how roses first came red and lilies white i write of groves of twilights and i sing the court of mab and of the fairy king i write of hell I sing and ever shall of heaven and hope to have it after all. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. To His Muse by Robert Herrick. Read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. Whither, mad maiden, wilt thou roam? Far safer twere to stay at home where thou may sit and piping please the poor and private cottages since coats and hamlets best agree with this thy meaner minstrelsy there with the reed thou mayst express the shepherd's fleecy happiness and with thy eclogues intermix some smooth and harmless bucolics there on a hillock thou mayst sing unto a handsome shepherdling or to a girl that keeps the neat with breath more sweet than violet there there perhaps such lines as these may take the simple villages but for the court the country wit is despicable unto it stay then at home and do not go or fly abroad to seek for woe contempts in courts and cities dwell no critic haunts the poor man's cell where thou mayst hear thine own lines read by no one tongue there censured that man's unwise will search for ill and may prevent it sitting still end of poem this recording is in the public domain when he would have his verses read by robert herrick read for LibriVox.org by nemo in sober mornings do not thou rehearse the holy incantation of a verse but when that men have both well drunk and fed let my enchantments then be sung or read when laurel spirits in the fire and when the hearth smiles to itself and gilds the roof with mirth when up the thirst is raised and when the sound of sacred orgies flies around around when the rose rains and locks with ointment shine let rigid cato read these lines of mine end a poem this recording is in the public domain to his book by robert herrick read for librivox dot org make haste away and let one be a friendly patron unto thee lest wrapped from hence i see thee lie torn for the use of pastry or see thy injured leaves serve well to make loose gowns for mackerel or see the grocers in a trice make hoods of thee to serve out spice end of poem this recording is in the public domain To His Book by Robert Herrick. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Take mine advice and go not near those faces sour as vinegar, for these and nobler numbers can ne'er please the supercilious man. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. To his book 
by Robert Herrick, read for LibriVox.org. Be bold, my book, nor be abashed, or fear the cutting thumbnail or the brow severe, but by the muses swear all here is good, if but well read or ill read, understood. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Mistress Catherine Bradshaw, the lovely that crowned him with laurel, by Robert Herrick, read for LibriVox.org, by Nemo. My muse in meads has spent her many hours sitting and sorting several sorts of flowers to make for others garlands and to set on many a head here many a coronet but amongst all encircled here not one gave her a day of coronation till you sweet mistress came and interwove a laurel for her ever young as love you first of all crowned her she must of due render for that a crown of life to you and a poem this recording is in the public domain to his verses by robert herrick read for librivox dot org what will ye my poor orphans do when i must leave the world and you who'll give ye then a sheltering shed or credit ye when i am dead who let ye by their fires sit although ye have a stock of wit already coined to pay for it i cannot tell unless there be some race of old humanity left of the large heart and long hand alive as noble westmoreland or gallant newark which brave too may fostering fathers be to you if not expect to be no less ill-used than babes left fatherless end of poem this recording is in the public domain not every day fit for verse by robert herrick read for librivox dot org by nemo tis not every day that i fitted am to prophecy no but when the spirit fills the fantastic panicles full of fire then i write as the godhead doth indite thus enraged my lines are hurled like the sibyls through the world look how next the holy fire either slakes or doth retire so the fancy cools till when that brave spirit comes again end a poem this recording is in the public domain his prayer to ben johnson by robert herrick read for librivox dot org when i a verse shall make know i have prayed thee for old religion's sake saint ben to aid me make the way smooth for me when i thy herrick honouring thee on my knee offer my lyric candles i'll give to thee and a new altar and thou saint ben shall be writ in my psalter end of poem this recording is in the public domain his request to julia by robert herrick read for librivox dot org by nemo julia if i chance to die ere i print my poetry i most humbly thee desire to commit it to the fire better twere my book were dead than to live not perfected end a poem this recording is in the public domain to his book by robert herrick read for librivox dot org go thou forth my book though late yet be timely fortunate 
it may chance good luck may send thee a kinsman or a friend that may harbour thee when i with my fates neglected lie if thou knowest not where to dwell see the fire's by farewell end of poem this recording is in the public domain his poetry his pillar by robert herrick read for LibriVox .org by nemo only a little more i have to write then i'll give o'er and bid the world good night tis but a flying minute that i must stay or linger in it and then i must away o oh, time that cuttest down all and scarce least here memorial of any men that were how many lie forgot in vaults beneath in piecemeal rot without a fame in death behold this living stone i rare for me ne'er to be thrown down envious time by thee pillars let some set up if so they please here is my hope and my pyramids end a poem this recording is in the public domain to his book by robert herrick read for LibriVox .org. if hap it must that i must see thee lie absurdest like all torn confusedly with solemn tears and with much grief of heart i'll recollect thee weeping part by part and having washed thee close thee in a chest with spice that done i'll leave thee to thy rest end of poem this recording is in the public domain upon himself by robert herrick read for librivox .org by nemo thou shalt not all die for while love's fire shines upon his altar men shall read thy lines and learned musicians shall to honor herrick's fame and his name both set and sing his lyrics to his book's end this last line he'd have place jocund his muse was but his life was chaste end a poem this recording is in the public domain end of chrysomela by robert herrick